Okay, now we're going to measure how fast is this fan turning. I've shut it off because it makes too much noise to talk over. So we've got to measure how fast is the fan turning. We have a tachometer, and we're going to set it for contact, and we have the pointed tip. The pointed tip goes in the end of the, mo in the, end of the motor, and push the button, and we get a reading of 1,725 RPM. I normally do it two or three times, just to take the average, but 1,725, that's how fast the motor's turning. The fan shaft is a flat shaft, so we use this convex tip. Same principle, we use the convex tip Hold it on with a bit of pressure. Don't force it, but just hold it on with enough pressure so it doesn't skip away on you. Okay. Again, we're on contact. Push the button. 865. 875. 865. So, 865 is what we write down for the average. We can also use it. I have a, whether you can see it or not, but I have a, a piece of reflective tape on here. And this will also work by reading the reflective tape. If I set it on. Read this, read the laser. If I set it on read the laser, it'll read 865. Okay, so it counts every time that the reflective tape goes by. Okay. And that's how we use attack. This is a, called a, a laser photo contact tachometer. So we can use it either in contact, which I prefer if you can, or laser if you can't quite get to it. Something like the return air fan here where we can't actually put our hand on the fan wheel, we would, uh, we would use the little piece of reflective tape on the blade and measure how many times the blade went around in a minute. Okay, to record the amperage that the fan is drawing, this is a single phase motor, so we have a black, a white, and a green wire. The green wire, don't worry about it, it's the ground. So, you have to, this, this could be kind of dangerous. Make sure you don't have any rings on, you should wear gloves, and you should wear face protection. But the fan's turned off now because it makes too much noise. So All you have to do is set your meter to amps, put the clamp around the black wire, and read 3.2 amps. Okay. That's all there is to it. Just put your ammeter around one of the wires, the black wire, 3.2 amps. You can't read voltage here because the wire is continuous. We did it like this just so we could read the amps. Okay. Now, old school, make sure the device you have is a category 3, cat 3. That means it's got good insulation on it, so if, if there's a, you won't get a shock. Old school is the old Ampro which we use for years and years and years. It doesn't require any batteries, and uh, you just have to be more cautious when you use these, but it's the same principle. You select an appropriate scale. This one goes up to six. Put it around one wire and read 3.6 amps. Okay. That's as simple as it is to take an average on a single phase motor. Now we're going to take an, an average on a three phase motor at the other unit. Okay, so this is our air handler, and our air handler has a five horsepower three phase motor. So three phase is different from the single phase where we had a white wire and one black wire. Here we have the power on three black wires. So we set our clamp on ammeter to read amps, and we read each one of the three wires. So there's 3.4 amps. 3.5 amps, 3. Point, 
4 amps. So we have 3.4, 3.4, 3.5. So the average of the three is 3.43 amps. That's what we write down, the average, 3.34 amps. I normally write down each of the readings. We can also use the old Ampro. It's exactly the same. You'd put it around one wire, then put it around the second wire, and then put it around the third wire. Okay. There's a little lever here, so when it's around the wire, you can lock it in that reading, and then when you bring it out, you can see what it reads. If we want to read the, the voltage, then we have to use a different... We can use the same meter, multimeter. We have to change the scale to read AC volts. Okay, so we read this, make the scale to read AC volts, and we read the power's off in here. Okay, or otherwise I I wouldn't have my rings on, I have gloves on, I have a face shield, but the power's off because the machine makes too much noise. So now we read. The first one to the second one, the first one to the third one. Okay, an increasing trend is to have variable frequency drives to control the speed of pumps or fans. We have one on the return fan, one on the air handler. Okay. So if you're lucky enough to have a variable frequency drive, you can read the amp draw right off of the screen. This one's saying 30 hertz, 0.71 amps. If I speed it up a bit, maybe, what do we got now? 0.87 amps. So you see the amperage goes up as the speed goes up. But you can read the amperage right off the screen of a variable frequency drive. And this component just changes the electrical characteristics, so instead of getting 60 hertz on the motor, you get something less than 60 hertz. We use to control the amount of airflow rate or to control the amount of static in the duct or to control the amount of pressure in the pumping system. 